Hello guys, this is Dark Game Trucks again. Welcome to a new review gameplay video. This time it's a game Unmetal on PC. Uh, approximately one hour gameplay, and during that gameplay, I will give my thoughts about the game. Uh, so, guys, uh, I would say if you like my videos, please subscribe, click the notification bell, uh, spread, share, leave a comment, suggest the game. So, guys, uh, I would say sit back, relax. And enjoy the video. Here we go, guys. Once upon a time, a Soviet war helicopter entered Allied territory. The aircraft was intercepted and shot down. As the pilot emerged from the wreckage, nice. he was arrested by the same bastards who shot him down, and later was brought to a military base for interrogation. That pilot was me. Name? My name is Fox. Jesse Fox. You don't seem to be Russian. Russian? Me? You were piloting a Russian aircraft two hours ago. I also drive a Toyota, and I'm not Japanese. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Mr. Fox. Before arresting you, I'm obligated to write down a report with your version of the facts. So tell us what the hell you were doing in that heavily armed Soviet helicopter. It's a long story. Sergeant, bring us some coffee. Yes, sir. Wachowski, bring the lieutenant some coffee. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Fox, we have plenty of time. Explain what happened. In 1972, a crack commando unit threw me in a prison for a crime I didn't commit. You're under arrest for a crime you didn't commit! I promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the underground, trying to survive from these soldiers of fortune. Oh, okay. I must say the storytelling uh, is really nice, it's well done. So as you can see guys, it's a retro game. And maybe you will think about a a particular game that this Let's resembles to how did you escape from that cell piece of cake i just had to write a note a note where'd you get the paper from i used toilet paper i see and how did you find a pen a pen i was in a dirty grimy cell not in an office i wrote the note with a rusty wire using my own blood as ink Ooh. Oh crap. Ah, oh, okay, yes. No. Oh, X. There we go. I scratched my arm with the wire and got to work. It wasn't easy. The toilet paper tore under the pressure of the bloody wire. Those bastards gave us stick <laughs> paper. One ply, unscented and unpatterned. Why did you break the toilet? Why not grab the paper like a normal person? You know how prison is. It's kill or be killed. And I wasn't going to be killed by some dirty toilet. Hey, you moron! Holy Jesus. You schmuck. Do you really think I'd be stupid enough to kill myself? Kill myself? <laughs> <laughs> the humor in this game is really nice. There, there we go. We got a key. Guard locked in the cell. Then I threw away the key and got out of there. Mr. Fox, what about the noose? Where did you get that from? Where did I get the noose? Are you seriously asking me that? I am, Mr. Fox. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Mission status controls. Uh, R2 
they should roll. Are we okay? Okay. When leaving the cell, I found myself in a prison yard surrounded by some buildings. There were piles of boxes and other stuff here and there. And the ground nice. was plain dirt. Oh, and it was night. No, I can't break that. Okay, it resembles that one game, of course. Metal Gear Solid, that's a fact. I must say the graphics are nice. I like the graphics. I like how the story is told. Uh, like they tell something and then the guy is telling something how it happens. So that's a nice thing of storytelling. contained some filthy cloth scraps I made some handy bandages to prepare for when I would get wounded bad news dirty cloth rags don't heal you they just stop the bleeding and I ain't got time to bleed <laughs> good news I could reuse these rags as much as I wanted good dirty cloth is hard to come by okay those boxes I can't break okay I thought everyone would be asleep at night, that it was safe to escape. I was dead wrong. I noticed the presence of... Oh! Oh wow, this is nice. Now you have to choose something. One guard. Okay, you can make it how difficult as you want, nice. Oh, wow. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Wow, this is... What's this? A ring. I must say I am impressed with the game, really. Saved, nice. Bam! <laughs> What's this? Handkerchief. Challenge unlocked. Okay, I must say, I like the graphics, but there's something like a blurry effect on it. That I don't think I can remove it. No. I don't know why they always put like something like a a blurry effect on those retro games, I don't get it, I think. What's this? Oh. What? Uh, I need to pee. No, you won't. Then go to the bathroom if you need to pee. Ah, that's better. Back to oh, crap. Oh, I'll... crap. I misjudged. Oh, man, that's. I thought it was looking my way. Crap. Ha <laughs> ha 
<clears throat> well, this is really the playability is nice. It's it's it works very well. The animation is a bit. How do I say? They could have done a better job there. Okay, but I can understand it. It's a it's a retro game. Uh, I, Some crates. I found my salvation. A sewer okay. hole. Okay. There was no ladder, and I couldn't see the bottom. <laughs> I needed to find a ladder or rope if I wanted to go down. So. Oops. Hey, over here. Yeah, yeah. What's this? No, I can't. I talked to the guy in the cell before moving on. Oops. Hello? You talking to me? If you like, it's something like... Alan Harris, 5th Battalion. I'm Jesse Fox. Ray? I'm not military, Colonel. Then tell me, Fox, what the hell are you doing here? I've been jailed for a crime I didn't commit. Do you know how to get out of here? Try to escape through any sewer. There must be one nearby, because it stinks when it's hot. Once outside, Move along at night time and sleep during the day. What about you, Colonel? I've been tortured. My legs won't make it. But if you bring me a radio, I can help you escape. Hold okay. on, okay. Harris. Are you sure you heard him say Alan Harris? Yes, sir. Saw him yesterday. Look, Mr. Fox, Colonel Harris died a month ago in an ambush. <clears throat> well, it's the name that stubborn old man gave me. I see. I'll write down on the report that you talked to Colonel Harris after his death. Continue your story. As I was saying, I searched for a radio to bring him. In fact, this game brings... I know that. Uh, it brings back some memories regarding the game. Okay. It reminds me of, of Metal Gear, so this is really something I must say. What's that? I took a coin off the guard. Money? What'd you intend to spend it on? I suspect there's no shops open for an escapee on a midnight run. Who said anything about spending? I used it to distract soldiers. I quickly found out that guards love picking up free coins <laughs> off the ground. I heard something. There we go. I picked up the guard's radio. Without encryption, I knew other guards could listen in on my conversations with Harris. I see. You still haven't told me how you got that noose. I'll tell you later. <laughs> As I was saying, I needed to find a special encryption circuit to install in the radio. Uh, so far for me the game, um, as you know guys, I like retro games, I like them a lot. And this one brings a big smile onto my face because it brings some back some memories. If you like those arcade adventurous games, then this one is a one to go. Um, as you can see the graphics are really nice. Uh, but... As you can see, when you go through the light, uh, you change color. It's, it's they did that to 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 simulate like a light effects. That's nicely done. Um, I must say, frankly, uh, oh. That the sound effects are not oh, crap. The sound effects are really, really well done. The music also... It has that... Mysterious... Um, feel, I can say. It 
it's really like uh, some some kind of uh, sneaky music so that works very well with the game um, but the thing is the playability that is top notch this is really really well 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 done I heard something. oh crap I misjudged there oh. You stole a one-eyed man's patch? <laughs> a one-eyed man that would shoot me without hesitation. Because it was his job, what you did was macabre and suggest you might have a fetish. Holy Jesus. Well, wow. <laughs> that patch turned out to be handy to create a lethal weapon. Um, so I was telling the gameplay is really nice. Animation is nice, it's not spectacular, but... Oh, wait a minute, I got a weapon. You see? Uh, combine, wait. Oh no. And combine. What's that button? Uh, no. Shortcuts, no. What? <laughs> That's really nice. You removed his glass eye too. <laughs> what the heck, dude? <sighs> no, no. Suspicion. Yes, I took it out because it was suspicious. What was suspicious? Why did a one eyed man have a glass eye under an eye patch? He'd be Good using point. a patch or an eye, but not both. Maybe the eye was some sort of secret device. I kept it just in case. <laughs> this is really nice. This is really well done, guys. This is like when I uh, equip the eye patch, it's like <laughs> you are seeing with one eye. This is so fucking awesome. Really, I'm. <laughs> Wait a minute. Going to try something. No. Ah, oh, come on. How do I... Oh, for God's sake. Oh, there we go. So... The game has some hum humor in it, in its... Oh. I have no paper. Can you bring me some? So, in the storytelling there's some humor also. Sometimes you have to make some choices when he's telling his story. Here you are. Thanks, man. You saved my ass, literally. <laughs> you broke down the door and attacked a guard while he was on the <laughs> toilet? Yes. I beat the shit out of him. Is that a joke? No. I literally beat the shit out of him. That toilet paper wasn't unscented anymore. <laughs> Let's move what on. The heck? Really, the the choices of words they are using, man, it's uh, hilarious. It's really nice. And also, the thing is, when he's telling, in fact, when you are telling the story, that is where you can see how the. The story evolves evolves when you are playing. Yeah, that's way too far. So I heard something. Oh crap. Oh a lighter, that's nice. I ran into a guard as I went in.
Luckily, the guy was sleeping. That bastard was going to have a rude awakening. Oh, and you see, guys, that's also nice. You can sometimes they give you a decision to take um, a stick. Okay, now we have it. So that you can make the game easier or more difficult. It depends the choice you you make. The lethal weapon you created with the patch was a slingshot. So yes, it is. Don't you think? What were you going to shoot? Pebbles? Depleted uranium balls. Three shots and goodbye guard. Wow, three shots. Ah. Empty potty. What? I must say this game is really well done. something for me guys the game gets a 9 out of 10 wristwatch okay what was I going to look for okay can I maybe this will work I don't know give it a try no okay so a 9 out of 10, why? Because the graphics are nice, really well done. Uh, the storytelling is splendid. You got to, you have some interaction with the story. I could disinfect and heal my wounds. Like, what the de decision, decision at what point time. you will take has Once some influence on the game itself. Gone. Sometimes it's difficulty, sometimes it's only a joke but the storytelling is also really funny okay oh fuck off what am i doing really crap oh i'm losing all my oh, cigarettes uh so sometimes it's only a joke but it's really really well done and i mean all that combined it works very well it's like an action adventure game. Uh, the sound effects are good. Uh, the music is nice. It's like a stealthy music. Uh, gameplay is really arcade -ish, really fun. Uh, you got collectibles to find, a lot of stuff. You can make your own weapons, so all that together. And of course, if you are a Metal Gear Solid fan, uh, you're going to like this game. It is a good game. Hey Mike, can you tell them again? Of course. The Sarge. Did you hear that? Could it be an escaping prisoner? Being so noisy? Nah, maybe it's Mike playing a joke on us. Just pay no attention. Why did you keep punching those crates? What did you expect to happen? Nothing in particular. Then why this gratuitous violence? <laughs> I don't know. I suppose I got lost in the moment. You know for being imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit. The Sarge says to the soul... Uh-oh. I was injured and losing blood. I had to heal that wound before I bled to death. So... And I, <laughs> uh... Oh, I'm almost dead. Wow, nice. Sunglasses, what the heck? So, and as you can see, also, guys, um, oh, but I don't have the radio thing, I don't have uh, okay. I reached a special place where I found something. What, Mr. Fox? It was what was it? Damn, I can't remember. <sighs> What? Oh, wait a minute. No. Secrets, maybe? No. 
What is this? Doesn't remember, okay. Uh, what's this? A rag? To, uh, Wake up, dude. Okay. Um. Uh, sunglasses. No. Rusty wire. Handkerchief. What did he find here? Nothing. Because I don't... Because I didn't find the rope, okay. Uh, now what? Lighter. What am I doing, seriously? If I use that... No, wait a minute, can I shoot that thing there? No. Be quiet. So now what? Be quiet. Okay, did I overlook something? missed something but what that's a toilet oh no it's not a toilet maybe I can oh there we I go the circuit I just had to attach it to the radio. I found it uh, combine 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 the radio with the circuitry there we go that's one Modified thing. Radio. I could speak to Harris with no one listening. Nice. Now, I just had to bring it to him. And the noose? Later. Oh, another one. Nice, nice. So it's really easy, in fact. You like Metal Gear, you like retro games. Um, uh, go ahead, play it. It's, a, it's that simple. Okay, I will save once there. And I must say that the, the storytelling is really nice because you are just telling the story in fact. And you are playing the game. I mean, the character that you are, are moving, playing with, that's the guy who's telling the story. Hey dude, wake up! 
Where is that rope? I went everywhere. Ah! Cigarette butt, that's for okay, it makes smoke. If I select now, if I select that, Be quiet. can I do something with that? Oh, crap! It's the same game over tune almost as Metal Gear. Really? Oh crap. Nice. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you want a cigarette. There we go, bam. Yeah. There we go. Hey, give me my lighter back. What lighter? You bastard. Screw yourself in that cell. Okay, but now, f no, I'm not going to do that again. No way. Uh, what was? Oh. Hey, bro, help me. Get me out of this hole. If you're in a cell, it's because you committed a crime. Ah, that's a good one. Don't free criminals. But you're a prisoner too. I've been in prison for a crime I did. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey friend, I'm also innocent. That's what they all say. Please, they keep the key in that box. <laughs> wow. But what are, the, what are those challenges? Really, what's this? Reach level 2, okay. Obtain five potters, okay. Okay. Hold on, I'm opening it. Thanks, dude. Oh, what a pity. You bastard! Hasta la vista. Oh man, really? Okay, but I still don't have the rope.
Uh, that's to go back. First aid, okay, that's always good. Pebble. Oh! What? Oh, yeah, now I remember. Wow! It was that damn grenade guy! Uh -oh. I wanted to punch the hell out of him, but I couldn't reach him. Why couldn't you reach him? There was a ditch. A simple ditch stopped you? This was no <laughs> simple ditch. It was full of tentacles. And blood-stained spears that moved up and down. And bony arms that tried to grab Jesus you. Christ. And deadly lays. Okay, okay, Mr. Fox. I get it. You couldn't reach him. For your own good, I'll not include the spears, arms, and tentacles in my report. Now, Mr. Fox, please continue your story. All right. The fight began as he tossed the first grenade at me. Nice. Whoa. Wow, the explosion is really nicely done. Kudos. Ooh. Oh, nice. Boss defeated. My first boss fight in that game. Nice. The guy. Huh? Wasn't there a ditch? I used the bridge. What bridge? <laughs> you told me you couldn't cross the ditch. Because I didn't see it at first. I was completely focused on my opponent, the grenade guy. I see. Yes, level up. So now what? Okay. Oh uh, no, punch. Oh, this is nice. Let me first take the challenge. Let me see what the guy has. Oh, a hook. Uh, we will see. Wait a minute. Do I need to combine the hook with the rope? Maybe. There we go. Nice. Now go give the the radio to the colonel. There we go. There you are, colonel. A radio. I've modified it to encrypt the signal. Oh, good job, son. Do you have another one for you? Not yet. I'll call you through channel one as soon as I find another. Good luck, son. And Godspeed. Uh, okay. Now I'll go into the sewer. Um, there we go. No. Select. I was about to go down that hole. But. And I remembered that I still hadn't radioed the colonel. What? Yeah, how can I radio the, the colonel? Wait a minute. No. What? Now I have to. F Are you kidding me? And why is my double punch not working anymore? Hmm. Weird. Okay, where can I find that radio? Oh, Jesus. So... Oh. There we go. 
Let's make another one. Hell yeah. With the radio encrypted, I could talk to Harris. I wouldn't have been able to escape without his help. I hate to admit it, but the grumpy old man gave some good advice. Okay. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found a rope to go down the sewer. And you're not down yet? <laughs> what the hell are you waiting for? I'm on it, Colonel. Okay, let us go down the sewers. I couldn't see the bottom of that hole, but I anchored the rope and I went down. So... Well, yeah. Crap. <laughs> Something stinks really bad. No. I anchored the rope and went down into the pitch darkness. Finally, I touched ground. I was in a sewer composed of narrow passages. There were channels of rotten water and narrow sidewalks. And the typical pipes and waste everywhere. It smelled like shit. <laughs> the putrid air was barely breathable, but once my lungs got used to that stench, I started to investigate my surroundings. First off, I had to check the depth of the water. Okay. What? With the arm? I dipped the sever oh, okay. in the water to calculate the depth. As soon as I did, it started shaking. When I pulled it back out, there was nothing wow. but bones. I couldn't explain what I saw, but my instincts told me this water might be dangerous. I'm not gonna lie. I had trouble getting where I needed to go. In fact, I had to build a floating platform to get through. Worse yet, everything down there was out for my blood. Oh, this game is so good, guys, really. <coughs> What's this? Plastic drum. Okay. I think I will need... Oh. Aha, that's how you do it. Another... Sergeant Roscoe here. What? Escaped? How? Through the sewers? Shit! No, don't send anyone. If he hides like a rat, he will die like a rat. Switch on the shredders! The what? Okay. Off. Oh. That asshole Roscoe ordered to have them activated. Oh crap! It would be a pain in my ass, but they'd end up saving it too. No, I have to be careful. Hold on, Mr. Fox. What exactly did you say attacked you? What you just heard. Some sort of hybrid between piranha and human. A human piranha attacked you? I see. And in your opinion, could you elaborate how this hybrid could exist? That question kept gnawing at the back of my brain the entire day. I dwelled on it over and over again. And after seeing everything I saw on that base, their facilities, their experiments, their labs, I reached the only logical explanation. And what was that, Mr. Fox? A creepy scientist must have wanted to create it a child of his own, but realized oh, he accidentally used piranha DNA. He deemed the child a monster. He held it up, looked deep into its fishy, loving eyes, and flushed it down the toilet with no care for its feelings. Holy Jesus. 
When the piranha ended up <laughs> in the sewers, it started multiplying and shared its story of betrayal to all of its new piranha offspring. The same ones that attacked me. Plastic drums. Oh? Oh yeah. No? Okay. Okay. Son, do you copy? Copy, Colonel. I've been trying to contact you. There was no signal down in the sewers. Have you already escaped? Where are you now? Not much progress. I should still be near the prisons. Are you kidding me, Fox? You're still too damn close. You need to travel farther before coming topside. I know, but there are sewer channels blocking my way. Then build something to cross them, Fox. Find some materials. Where are you exactly? I think I'm in the office of some sort of officer. You should search for classified files about Operation Jericho. Take them with hmm. you. They're up to something. I don't know what. We must find out. Lieutenants. Okay, is that something or is it rubbish? Okay, that's nothing. No. No. Aha! I got the files. Before leaving the office, I called Harris to let him know that I found the files. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found some documents. Operation Jericho. Looks like it talks about... an attack plan? Attack? Against what, son? I have no idea. It's encoded. I'll keep searching for more documents, Colonel. Operation Jericho is a rumor only known by a few officers and, of course, the enemy. How did you find out about it, Mr. Fox? As I told you, Colonel Harris asked me to search for files about it. The deceased Colonel Harris? Yes. I had the feeling that this officer didn't believe anything I was saying. <laughs> it's understandable. I don't believe you either. Oh, really? Well, Miss Incredulous, <laughs> ask me to tell you the story. Well, I like the way you tell it. And since there are no theaters here. Great. You see, that's what I like about the game. Man. It's that the cinematics are nice. Not too long. Easy storytelling. Commanded by someone named General X. That's what I like. A large scale attack against Alfred Posts. And that plan was Be patient. That comes later. Hey! Don't be like that. Come on, tell me. The officer that was taking my statement was also curious about what I knew. And what exactly do you know about Operation Jericho, Mr. Fox? That it was a hell of an operation. Harris and I knew the details thanks to the files we found. Correction, I found. Again, how much did you exactly find out? Let me continue. You'll find out later. I need to... Okay, I need a... okay, an access card. I need to save and then I will end my stream. Okay, everything is done here. Okay, but I can't go very far here. Wait a minute. What is this? Plastic drum. Oh yeah, cigarette butt. Uh I considered floating the drums on the water and walking across, but they weren't very stable. I considered floating the drums on the water and walking across, but they weren't very stable. <sighs> How can I... Rusty white? No. I don't have anything... Now what? 
I need to find something that I can use. But where and how? Okay, am I missing the point here? Wait a minute. How can I? No. Missing something here. Okay, what is this? No. I considered floating the drums on the water and walking across, but they weren't very stable. So I need to find something. But find what? Come on, don't tell me I'm stuck, really. Jesse here. Over. Shit, there's no signal down here. Um. Hey, wait a minute. Remove the sunglasses. I considered floating the drums on the water and walking across. Okay, guys, anyhow, stable. Um, it's like I said if you like Metal Gear, if you like retro games, this is a game you must play. Obviously, it's like a, not really, it's like a Metal Gear ish, clonish game. Uh, it has some the same uh, aspects a bit. The storytelling is a bit the same, but otherwise, so uh, the graphics are really neat. The music is uh, stealthy, though, so it works with the game. The sound effects are great. Animation is nice, but not superb. Um, although the explosion of the gren grenade was fantastic, fantastically done. Uh, there you saw the gap between a uh, new modern technology and those retro graphics uh, that was really neat uh, the plot is humoristic the choices are humoristic uh, the storytelling is humoristic uh, that's also a nice addition to the game and playability is top notch so for me this game gets a 9 out of 10 and i recommend that you guys play this game of course if you like metal gear and retro game so guys that was it um, if you like my videos please subscribe click notification bell leave a comment suggest a game spread share and i will be back with another video but always guys don't forget stay safe take care and peace out